We're Chelsea Nalfons. We're traveling across all 48 states in our converted 2001 Chevy Express bus and are inviting you to join along for the adventure. Come along as we see barren deserts, high altitudes, and the occasional bus repair as we journey across America. And driving. And we're in Wyoming, which is snowy. Yeah, but what'd you say about the population? Oh, it's the second least population dense state in the country outside of Alaska. So there's not much to see at all. All the snow. And it's flat, like not many mountains. And we still have about two and a half, two and a half hours to our sleep spot. Because I-80 has been closed all day, so we had to go through this massive round about way. Oh yeah, because I-80 is closed from wind and snow and all sorts of stuff. We made it! Yeah, you're we up. are staying at this rest stop tonight, and apparently we are along the Oregon Trail auto tour route. A few moments later. So you're probably wondering why you saw more sunset driving shots. And the reason why is because as soon as we pitched a tent and well, it set up camp and all of that, we heard a knock on our window. <laughs> Turns out that iOverlander is wrong and that the rest stop does not allow free parking. So we had to drive another hour or so. And we are now at a park that 1,000% sure allows overnight parking because they have signs. So, good night everyone. We are tired and exhausted and we are going to enjoy our much deserved McDonald's. beautiful Monday morning in where are we uh where are we Lander Wyoming so after we were finally able to find a place that actually allows overnight parking our water tank froze and it was actually not the tank itself it was the water pump which was so confusing because we we have like a little app that tells us the temperature and how cold it gets and it only got down like 42 and we had our heater running all night, so our theory is that it froze between we were gonna stop at that truck stop or that rest stop, and then they told us to leave. So when we had, when we drove between there and Lander to get to the park that allowed overnight parking, so. But it's thawed out now, we have water, which is great, and we are on our way to, what's it called, Jackson? And it's really close to Grand Teton National Park. We're not gonna go to Grand Teton this time, we're gonna go when we come from the north and we'll just like swoop back down into Wyoming to go to Yellowstone and Grand Teton and then go back up. And we have our very first Patreon subscriber! So if you do not want to miss out, you can join and subscribe to our channel in two ways. One is a $5 a month special. After three payments, you get a sticker of our channel. And if you want to join the $15 a month special, you get a sticker and a coffee mug with the logo of our channel on it. So make sure to join our Patreon. The description or the link is in the description down below and on the screen. Can't wait to have you.
this post now. And it's called Jackson Hole. Still works, you can see on the door right there. And it is a distillery, so they have vodka and gin, and they're actually just starting to do whiskey too. But they have what are called sloshies, which are, I guess, a Wyoming thing. But this has pineapple and vodka. It's basically like a frozen margarita. One thing that we need to correct ourselves on is it's not pronounced Grand Teton. It is pronounced Grand Teton. No. Wait, how was it pronounced? Oh Teton. no, I already forgot. Okay, it's Grand Teton. Grand Teton. <laughs> All right, we made it through the 10% downgrades. I think our uh, brakes are a little mad at us. But we're about to come up on the Idaho state border. seen so many potato mashers <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> they have a whole bucket of mr. potato heads so above this plaque is Idaho's most famous potato it's a painting guess what it is mr. potato head Potato VR, <laughs> experience the wonders of potatoes in virtual reality. Actually, that sounds kind of cool. True or false? Idaho grows sweet potatoes. It is false. 94% of all potatoes grown in Idaho are russet potatoes, and 6% are these different ones. So we have the golds, the reds, and the fingerlings. So, no sweet potatoes. So, oh, of course you guys know of Pringles, and this <laughs> is the world's largest potato crisp, or the world's largest Pringle. It weighs 5.4 ounces, it is 920 calories, and it was uh, created by a team of food engineers in 1991. Bon Appetit! Oh, you would like potato? Oh! It is such an easy process. Let me show you. So first you get the potato, then you store the potato. Then there's the steam peeler, and then we have trimming and inspection. And then after that we have slabbing, pre-cooking, pre-cooling, the real cooking, down to mixing, conditioning, drying, sifting, and packaging. Ta-da! See, I told you it was easy. And of course, you have the collection of vodka, which is the only liquor that comes from the potato. So this is an Eagle Scout project by Reagan Reese, and it's to help people get like selfies and pictures of the sign. You lift that bar and you put your phone under it and then you put it back on your phone so then you can get a timed photo of yourself. Kinda cool. So we are at a restaurant called Ruby's Burgers and it's really cool because on the outside it looked like a Sonic and we were like, uh, can we actually go in here? But then when you walk in, it's a restaurant. And y'all, just look at these prices. Coffee is only 95 cents. 
A small soda is $1.50. That's what I call affordable. What do you think of Idaho so far? Uh, it's good. I mean, the potatoes are good. Dinner's probably going to be pretty good. This place is cool. Uh, driving into the state was a little interesting this morning, but overall, I'm good. <laughs> uh, and our bus finally defrosted, which yeah. has been fantastic because it's been covered in ice for three days. Yeah. Yay for warmer weather. All right. So we're in Oregon. We're near Bend, Oregon. Mm -hmm. And we are deciding to make the trek all the way to Eugene today. Yep which is going to be very snowy. Our friends sent us a, like a news thing and they were like two to four feet yep. of snow. It's like, oh great. <laughs> so we got our snow chains and you don't put them on it because right now it's just sunny, no snow. So you don't put them on until you actually get to the snow. Right. So yes, pray for us for safe travels and we'll keep y'all posted. Here's Bob for the weather update. All right, everyone, we are currently experiencing sunny weather. Well, Bob, it's been a little bit. How's it going over there? Well, Theodore, the skies are still pretty clear. You could even see some dry spots here on the road, but we are about to go into a snow cloud, so we'll see how it goes. It's starting to look bad out there, Bob. What's the report? Well, Theodore, the snow is coming down. We're seeing signs for chain up, so we'll see if we'll have to chain up, but stay tuned. You got this, babe. What's that smell? 